everyone. So um, this is just a video on my April favourites. So April's come and gone really quickly. I always find it's one of those months that you never really notice. It just happens. But um, there have been a few good things. And first of all, I don't know if the camera's showing you, but I am blonde. I've spent hours and hours today. Um, I used a Garnier pre-lightening kit, which made like bleached my hair like white blonde. And then I used a um, medium to light blonde hair dye and this is my natural colour basically this is what I always was before I dyed my hair brown and I'm finally blonde again so yay okay so I'm just going to get straight into the um, April favourites there are seven things eight things okay so um, I'll start with this it's looking a bit messy at the moment but it's San Moray San Moray San Moray St. Morris, you know, that's not how I meant to say it, but it's a take on the Saint Tropez um, fake tan. So it's a mousse as well, and I don't want to. I'll put some on some paper for you, it just it goes everywhere. So it's like that, it's a mousse, and then that looks really dark, and you rub it in, and it's not as dark. And yeah, it's really good. Um, I've never used Saint Tropez because it's £20 and I don't really have that kind of money lying around for fake tan as I'm not that much of an addict but I use this every now and then like a week every week or so because I don't want to be too dark but um everyone said it looks really nice it's not streaky if you use it with a um tanning glove or tanning mitt so yeah this is really nice and um I got it from Home Bargains for £2.50 but I think you can buy it in Super Chill for about £4 okay so Next thing is um, Sun In, which is something I bought from Boots, and it helped my hair get blonder whilst I before I dyed it. So if I wanted to get, make it blonder again now in the summer, I can just spray it with this, and it will um, slowly lighten my hair. It really does work. So it's called Sun In, and it's heat activated. This is the super one, so it doesn't just contain lemon juice. And you spray it in your hair all over wherever you want. You can go outside, or you can blow dry your hair, and lightens your hair basically but I'm blonde now so yes <laughs> finally but that's really good and it was five pounds I think five pound fifty something like that from boots if you want to try it it works on all hair colours so yeah that's quite nice another hair thing is um L'Oreal Palace Studio Line Silk and Gloss I bought um the volume hairspray as well so I bought them together the lids disappeared and this is nice it doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything and it doesn't really do anything I find but the mousse is amazing you put it all in your hair and then I find it really I'm not wearing it right now but it really does lift your roots and it makes a huge difference my hair feels really bouncy and like airy so I really recommend this it was on offer I bought these two for two for four pounds in boots when they'd like kind of first come out but yeah this is a really nice one and definitely go and get this it's a volume mousse with glossy shine and silky touch with silk microfibers and it's number four on the volume. Okay, and the next thing with the makeup, and these are just three things I got from MAC recently, but I'm really enjoying them as well. So, first of all, it's the concealer. It's the um, Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. I'll just show you that. And I've used quite a lot of it already. It's a really lovely concealer. Great for um, bad skin like mine. It hides everything, basically. So I really like this, and it was, I don't honestly remember how much it was, I can't think, £13 or something? Okay, and then I bought the two eyeshadows which are in my April haul, but I'm, I'm really enjoying them. I'm wearing Sable on its own right now, because I just kind of whacked it on for the video. So the first one is Naked Lunch, as I'm sure you know if you've seen my other video, really lovely colour. They're kind of staples, I just wanted to start out with two easy colours and then sable, which I'm wearing right now. And they're both such lovely colours. I mean they're they're easy to pull off. They're not difficult, they're not extreme. Um I've been wearing them nearly every day and I'm really enjoying it. I really, really like them. So I'm hoping to kind of stock up on all my MAC eyeshadows, get some palettes, depot them, and then have like a load of them. Okay, next thing's from Benefit, and it is Benefit High Beam, and I'm sure you've seen loads of stuff about this because, I mean, it's an amazing product. I'd rave about it forever. So, it's a highlighter. 
and it's a cream, creamy liquid consistency. Just dab it on your skin. And then just, sorry I haven't put much on so you won't be able to see, but it just kind of shimmers in the light. Not really obvious. I'll, I'm just going to put some on for you. So you can just get some on your finger. Dab it across. I'm using my ring finger because it gives the lightest touch. You just want to go across here, across your cheekbone. So if you can see that shimmering, I'll do it on the other side as well. And then you can also use it um, on your brow bone. It works really well for that. It has this very slight pinky sheen to it. There's also Moonbeam, which is more of a yellow colour. I'd say it's more for darker skin tones. So yeah, there you go. Really, really lovely. It just makes your skin dewy. Like, no one would notice it. It just looks very, very natural. Contours the face really nicely as well. So you can apply it here as well and that works lovely. I haven't actually put it on right now, but yeah. Um, the last thing, which is a favourite, is my brand new iPhone. I love it. I got it on like the 12th of April and it was an upgrade and I've got it in white, which is the best colour in my opinion. And um, I've unfortunately, well it's very dirty right now, got a scratch right down the middle. Sorry, it's got fun it's got foundation all over it. It has a scratch right down the middle. I don't know if you can see anything, but... Oh well, I don't want to put a cover on it because it always feels really horrible and I really like the getting straight in there. But look, it's my beautiful cat. My cat died today. My really old cat. She was killed by a dog. And I'm so sad about it. She's called Fluffy, I'll find you a photo. And she was the nicest cat and it's a really bad photo but I can't believe she's gone beautiful cat but what can you do okay so god I didn't mean to end it on such a downer um yeah so anyway I hope you guys are having a really great day a great week and if enjoyed the bank holiday because I certainly have enjoyed having the time off and um I'll see you all soon and tell me what your um, favourites this month are because I want to try new things and I'm always looking for new for new um, products. Uh, I'm always looking for new products and everything. So tell me what you like. Okay, then guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.